Hello, my name is Andy. I'm one of the learning team here at Tudor House and Garden, and I'm standing in the workroom. During the 19th century, this would have been a hub of activity because it, there was a dye works in here, somewhere where they would dye cloth. There are some objects on display, which next time you're here, you can have a look at at your leisure. Every single object, doesn't matter if it's in a museum or not, tells a story. And I thought, I would show you some very little objects that look very much like coins, but aren't. So let's go and have a look. And here they are. These aren't coins. These are known as trade tokens. And they were used at times when, basically, there wasn't enough small change to go round. There hadn't been enough made for people to buy things like bread. So merchants got round this by making their own tokens, which had a specific value, for example, a halfpenny, and that would allow people to trade with them. It was a very clever idea, and we can have a look at a couple of the tokens now. So firstly, the one at the bottom, um, you can see on the left there's a man riding a horse, slaying a dragon, well that's St George, and then on the right, it's a great big warship from 1796, and it's from Portsmouth. At this time, Britain was at war with France, so the coin's not easy to come by. And then this other one, slightly closer to home, was from Southampton. You can see the badge of Southampton on the left, and it says Corporation of Southampton on the right. Even in difficult times, people have always found a way to carry on. And this is just one of the really clever ways that people have found to do that. Thanks for watching.